Yeah. One last thing to show. There we go. <laughs> Keith, can you bring me one of the graphing calculators from that back cabinet? All right, Jacob, what's this price? It's, um, thank you. Two point seven million pounds, right? Sure. Sure. Okay. Did somebody find me a first time buyer's percent? 3.5? Okay. So, when you buy a house, you want to put 20% down on the house. So let's just make it easy. We'll say that in order to buy this house that Jacob wants to buy, you got to put down a cool million dollars. You still with me on this? All right. So a 30-year mortgage is a traditional length mortgage. And a traditional length mortgage, that means if I do 30 years, I pay 12 payments a year. It means it's 360 payments for this house. Uh, we have a 3.5% interest rate. Uh, previous value one. Let's see. So our previous value, we put a million down. So that means the house is going to cost us two, three, six, three, nine, five million dollars. Future value wants zero. So your three million dollar house, which you already put a million of your own down, is going to cost you twelve thousand two hundred and eighty seven dollars and sixty four cents a month. Okay? Now here's the goofy thing about it. You take that twelve two eight seven point six four and you multiply it by your 360 payments because a 30 year mortgage means you're doing 360 payments. So you're going to pay, multiply your 12,000 times 360,000 means that your house that you financed plus the million. So your house that you bought. your house that you were going to pay three million dollars for at the end of your mortgage you would have paid five million five hundred and twenty three thousand five hundred and fifty dollars and forty cents okay which is kind of a you know it's kind of weird to think about that you're going to drop that kind of money on a house okay now uh, I need help doing something else real quick. Would you, on your phones or on your computer, look up what the average student debt is right now? Is it really? Oh, oh. okay. Okay, so that's the average student debt. Someone goes to college, they take loans. That's how we have. Also, while you're looking at that, find me how much, what's the interest rate on a student loan? Four point five three percent. A student loan. 
Uh, what is the time period to pay back a student loan? I also need that Googled. Uh, federal? Or? Federal. Mm -hmm. Nope. 18.5 years? Yeah. years? Okay. All right, so that means that so, you know, I think some of you might be thinking about college, but this is something that's genuinely think about, especially if you have to take loans for college. Somebody's dropping thirty-two thousand, almost thirty-three thousand dollars just for their undergrad. So your bachelor of arts or bachelor of science degree, you have eighteen point five years to pay it off after you graduate, times uh, twelve years. So that means that you're going to have two hundred and twenty-two payments. If you're just making the minimum payment each month, uh, we're going to take our 32,731. We need to find the payment. Future value is that. Cool. So if you went to college, your monthly payment after you got done uh, with college is roughly $200.50 a month for the next 18.5 years. So if I figure that out, if I go 200.5 times 12 payments a year times 18.5, so your education, once if you paid back the minimum payment, your $32,000 debt now comes out to $44,511. So in interest alone, you subtract the two. That means you're dropping eleven thousand seven hundred eighty dollars. That's what the federal government is making off you borrowing from the federal government to go to college. Okay. So let's think about how this is going to work. How would this even apply? Why would this even apply? Um, so let me see if I can find this. Can probably do this. Bless you. I'll show you how I did this. See if they'll let me. Uh, this is this is the ad. I don't want the ad. That should be good. I hope. Let me download this. Where is that? It's here, maybe. Let's try and see what this is. That's the same place I was at. Start. Continue. Is that me or you? I was going back. I'm going back on it.
All right. There you go. Let's see how fast that's going to download for me. Where is it at? Download. All right, I guess I'll have to gonna let me do it. I know I have the emulator on here, but it's run out. All right, do me a favor. Get one of these calculators. You can borrow one of mine if you need to. But if you have a graphing calculator, get it out, or you can borrow one of mine from back there. Okay. And we would like to buy a car. And let's say we are going to buy ourselves a Honda Accord. I don't know why I, have a, I spelled Honda with a Y. I'm going to buy a Honda Accord. Okay. And we're going to buy the 2022 here in a few months. It's coming. Huh? You got zero what? Oh, you don't don't search for it on there. <laughs> so 2022 Honda Accord. And you found the one that you want. It's got the sunroof. It's got the leather seats. It's got the it's got the floor mat and it's got the floor mats and this has a good gas mileage. Just say it's getting 40 miles per gallon. We're just saying we're just saying. But the for, the 40 the 40 miles per gallon is not really relevant. Uh, Honda is running a special where you can get uh, uh, let's see we can get a 2.6 percent interest rate. Uh, they will allow you to take it out 60 months, okay, which is five years. Is it a lease? Is it a lease? Nope, nope, it's just down payment. Mm -hmm. All right, on your graphing calculators, find the button that says APPS. It's two buttons above seven. And we're going to go to finance, yes. And then you're going to go, so did APPS, did you find it? And we're going to do TVM solver, yes. So who's on it? Who's got it? Anyone else? Borrow one if you want. Anyone else got a calculator? Wow. I just know how it works. So apps, finance, and then get to where it says TVM solver. Okay, that's what you're looking for on the graphing calculator. Apps, finance, TVM solver. You with me so far? Hit enter once you get to TVM solver, and I don't know if you have anything in there. So, 60 months means uh, 12 times 5 is 60, so 60 months. Interest rate of 2.6. You could just put 2.6 in, you don't have to put 0 0.026. Okay, and we're putting zero money down on this car. We're going to drop 34.051 on this car. We want to figure out what our payment's going to be. 34051. Do what's that? PM PMT. We don't know yet. We're gonna try and figure, we're gonna solve that in a sec. Our future value FV future value is gonna be zero. It means that's when it's paid off. 
Payments per year and cost per year, they both should be 12. So you're going to put n equals 60. I percent, you're just going to put it as 2.6. Present value, PV, is our 34051. Um, payment, we don't know yet, so that you can keep that payment as zero, which is going to show up. Future value, we want to have a zero. And then P slash Y and C slash Y, if you plug 12 into one, the other one comes out to 12 as well. Okay, that just means I'm doing 12 payments a year. Still with me on this adventure? All right, so move back up your cursor to the payment line. Go to the payment line with your cursor. And then once you're there, you hit alpha, enter. When it's on the payment line. Yep, 605. So 82 to the nearest penny. Agree? So that means you're paying $605.82. This does not include the tax or insurance for your car. This is just what the dealership's getting from you. So you're going to pay $605.82. Now, if I multiply that by the 60 months, so if you get out of that mode, you just hit second quit and hit 605.82 times 60. Your $34,000 Honda actually will have costed you $36,349.20. You subtract that from your original $34,051. That means that Honda made an extra $2,298.20 off of you. Okay, why is that important? You have to ask yourself, if you direly need something and you cannot wait till cash on the barrel to buy it, it's best that you know that there's something coming forward as far as interest that you're going to have to pay. Okay, this is a real, this application works on so many different things. Um, and we're going to be playing around with this all next week as well. So another fun feature is using the same, same TBM solver is let's say you want to put $100 per week into savings. And let's say you wanted to, um, let's say you graduate from high school or college or whatever. Let's say you originally put $2,000 into this account that was given to you as a gift. So you had a gift, so but you want to start putting hundred dollars per week into savings. Well, let's say the savings is if it was just in a traditional bank, you might be able to find a 1.3% savings account. Okay, maybe. Okay, but let's say you wanted at age 25 years old, you want to just start saving some money towards. I don't know, maybe part of your retirement. Like you're not going to worry about it. This is your entire retirement. This is just part of your retirement. So you're going to retire, let's say, when you're 65 years old. And I realize some of you are like, no way, I'm going to retire. I'm 40. Okay, great. I like it. So we realize this is 40 years. 40 years took place. So go back into the apps, finance, TVM solver. And you have to say, okay. I am going to do 40 years. So under N, you can go 40 times 12. So just do that, and it's going to do the math for you. It's going to come out to 480. You have an interest of 1.3. You are going to do a payment, and if you want, you can put the negative in or not. It doesn't really matter. If you put the negative in, that's fine or excuse me, the, the previous value is 2000 Put the payment in, keep it as a positive 100 Future value, we don't know. Uh, times per year, we're going to do it. We're going to do it every month. So under future value, hit the alpha. You have the cursor on the blinking zero. Hit alpha, enter, and... Oh, per week. Oh, so that's going to be... Yeah, so I'm sorry. So 52 times 40. 
So n is 52 times 40. Payment. Uh, the payment we're going to do each week after we have the $2,000. So hang on, let me clear this up a little bit. Let's go. So n is going to be 2,080 because you're putting $52 or every week, 52 weeks for um, 40 years, right? So 52, oops, I went to the wrong thing. 52 times 40. So this comes out to 2,080 is N. Our interest, we're just going to put 1.3 in. Our previous value, we got that $2,000 gift from whoever. And we're going to do a payment of $100 every week. So your payments per year is going to be 52. And it's going to change C slash Y to 52. So P slash Y is 52. And so C slash Y will also be 52. And then if you want to check the future value, we want to know what our future value would be. We want to know how much money this is going to be. So under future value, F, V, we're going to hit alpha enter. And uh, hang on. I, I, oh, there's my mistake. Oh, geez. So 276131.17. Okay. So this is how much this account is going to be worth. Now, if you want to figure out how much how much interest you made, well, you had your 2000 original, and you're going to go the plus the 100 times our 2080. Thank you. So under get out of that mode, you go 2000 plus 100 times 2080. Minus our 276, 131.17. So that basically means that you made $66,131.17 in interest on your money. Okay? You actually wound up putting, what of your own money, you put $210,000. That includes your original $2,000 gift. So... Is it worth it to you to get that? Well, if that's the only interest rate you can get, that's fine. But uh, on your phone, look up for me. Average, or this is what I need you to find. I need you to look up American funds. Large cap. Average. Interest or average interest, yeah. So American funds, large cap average interest. Yeah. All right, yeah, just one interest. How much? Oh, it's got to be better than that. Let's do this. Uh, hang on, pull it up. Might be right. Lifetime, 11.66. So the lifetime of this American large, these are large corporations, is making 11.66. So if you did the same exact thing under your apps, under finance, under TVM solver, everything should still be in there. But we're going to change our 1.3% interest to 11.66. And then you go on to the future value, FV, and hit alpha enter. Okay. 
Okay. So. And we said that you had dropped. I forgot how much we said. How much did we originally put in? Uh, 281.66, 2,152.52. Oh, it's an older edition, so it's going to be slightly off. Each edition's off a little bit because they got a little bit better. So it's not supposed to be the exact perfect thing. But so, so here's the question for you, my friends. Do you want $4 million at the end, or do you want, or do you want the 276,000 in the end? I think 4 million is a heck of a lot better, right? So this would be what you'd find in a bank. Now a bank's going to be FDIC. Um, you have the insurance from the federal government. For up to a half million dollars per account. So a lot of people think I'm going to go to the bank because it's safe. Now, my friends, are you willing to roll the dice on the economy that everything about the economy shows that is going to do this kind of growth? Okay. The growth of the bank is kind of like this. So here's your bank growth. Here is a mutual fund, which is a large cap corporation if you go with large cap. I mean, think about it. Is $4 million going to change your lifestyle when you retire? Like, yeah. like Gunnar, what do you want to do when you grow up? What's your, what's your dream job? No idea. No idea? Anyone have a goal on a job that, yeah, what do you got? Senator. senator so senators are making about what 200,000 a year so as a senator would that 4 million dollars change your retirement um, so so here let, let's do this let's just do this so let's say our let's go back to that 4 million dollars so I'm going to go my, my future value, I'm going to make zero. I'm going to have my previous value be four, eight, seven, oops, four, eight, seven, one, seven, ten, point sixty two. Um, I would like my mutual fund once I turn sixty five. So once you are sixty five years old and people live, I don't know, let's say you live to be 85. So you're talking about 20 years. So if you wanted to start drawing off this, this uh, mutual fund every month, it's your end value is 12 times 20, which is 240. So you would get 240 payments. Okay, 240 payments. Earning that interest, I want a future value to be zero. My payments, I'm looking at, uh, I, I'm trying to find that. I'm trying to get 12 payments per year. So my future value on that money I earned, oh, jeez. In order for you to deplete your fund, You would get this per month for 20 years. Are you okay getting $52,000 a month? Think about that. 52,000, 52, 491 times 12 comes out to roughly $630,000 a year that you get to live off on your retirement. Are you really going to spend that much money? Even if you directed this saying, I want to deplete this, you could start having your retirement pay you back 
for your, what is it going to be? What could you do with $630,000 a year on your retirement? I think a lot. It doesn't become, should I have first class or not? It should be like, where am I having first class? Should I have the, the, uh, the uh, beach house that I want to rent each summer on the beach? Or do I want to be a few blocks away from the beach? Okay. That it, this, this on this calculator is a huge tool that will definitely be something that you'll look at for future. Okay. I've gone through life always going, if you give me, give me the facts, let me work with what I know. And that comes, that comes even every year, just even as a teacher. So next year, next year as a teacher, my base salary, my base salary as a teacher should be this. Okay. That doesn't include what the, what the district puts in for my retirement in my para. But right now, if I wait until I'm 60, which is in 10 years, if I wait till I'm 60, if I went to the para calculator, it's going to get me about $9,000 per month for the rest of my life. That is what the state will start paying me back on the retirement. What do my mutual funds pay back on that? I can assure you, friends, if you have time on your side, if you invest in you first to save, you will come out on top. Okay, We're going to play around with this a lot more coming um, next week. And I'll make I I didn't realize it wasn't gonna work on here, so I so I.